There's a man named Farmer Brown. He's got the fattest turkey around. He's been feeding that turkey well to fatten him up for a Thanksgiving meal. Mrs. Brown said, "Honey dear, let's eat that big bird this year. Go and fetch your brand new axe. Take that turkey round the back." Welcome everybody to our Thanksgiving episode. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey! Episode 32 of Midlife Vices. Marshmallows and yams, football on Thursday, Thanksgiving parades, and being awesome. Four things that are uniquely American. I kid, I kid. Some other countries put marshmallows on their yams too. Welcome, Jim. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. Great, doing great intro great. song, man. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, yeah, it was hard to find a good Thanksgiving song, so. It's just right home on the farm. That's right. Uh, so what you got going on? What you been up to? Uh, haven't been up to a whole lot this week. Uh, took the car down to uh, get service. Went to the, to the big city of Des Moines. Yeah. And uh, went to the comic shop. I was there and picked up some Sweet Tooth comics to uh, add to my Jeff Lemire cover collection. Saw that. I think it's I'm nice up to uh, near 40. I think maybe, maybe not. I, I counted them and obviously can't remember how high I can count. Right. So, uh, <laughs> can't remember how high you can count. No. That's, that's always a problem. And uh, yeah, not, not much else. Uh, I don't think I've done a whole lot of reading. I did. I've done a lot of watching TV this week for this show. Right. I like to, I like to blame the show, but it was a quite an enjoyable week of TV. I, I didn't realize how much I loved Thanksgiving episodes. Oh yeah, they're good, aren't they? Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I watched yeah. a few too. Yeah, I actually didn't read anything this week. Um, nothing at all. Uh, I did watch a couple new shows, uh, which I think you're also watching The Patient on Hulu. I did, I did start watching that. Uh, thank you, started, Jason, for that. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Uh, DC Patrol for that. Yeah, we're through six episodes now. Uh, no, eight, actually seven episodes. We're getting ready to start episode eight. I'm not even sure how many there are in the series, but um, really good. Really yes. good. Yes, great acting from Steve Carell. Yeah. Still trying to figure out the whole backstory of his wife and son. Right. And, uh, of course, I don't know a lot about Jewish tradition, so. Right. But. I'll learn apparently. Or, oh yeah. Or I'll yeah, try sure. and then I'll forget about it. And then the next show that comes up with it, I'll be like, Hey, what's going on? And yeah, that's, I mean, that's a show I never would have watched. Um, and I think I mentioned in DMS that that's, you know, we always talk about whether it's better to binge watch shows or uh, have a week to week. Uh, I think it really, really depends. I think if this was a show that I had to wait a week to watch, I probably would have never watched episode two, not because episode one was bad. Episode one was good. It's just, uh, way slower of a show than I'm used to enjoying. So being able to put, I think we watched four the first night because they're only what, 22 to 25 minutes or something. So they're Somewhere really, there, yeah. yeah, really short, really quick, but um, yeah. So yeah, the binge watching portion was much, much better with the show. Those, That's my favorite length of show. The sitcom length. I, I yeah. like that. It's yeah, because I can sit down and I can watch three episodes of that much easier than I can watch 42 minutes of an hour show. Right. I, I know that sounds stupid, but I can get up between the episodes and still have. Exactly. It, it's just, yeah, it's nice for me. Yep. I agree. I agree. So, and then the other one, a uh, peripheral Jason also mentioned that uh, it's a sci-fi. Um, it's really good. We watched the first episode it's very, it's almost like if there was a prequel for the matrix somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, they're not the same story, obviously, but uh, you can see how this could be a way that something like that might start. Hmm. Uh, really, really cool ideas with it. Nice. Uh, 
it's it's a gaming system that takes you into virtual reality and the virtual reality becomes very real and i'll leave it at that so um yeah really cool really nice. good show and i think it's only six episodes it's a six episode miniseries so it won't take that long to get through either that's awesome yeah i'm trying to think of any other new shows that i've actually put on and you watch the most recent ghosts is that the one with uh, the, the the terrible deaths or the bad deaths? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, was not my wife's favorite episode. She didn't no. much care for it. Uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't hate it. Uh, no, it wasn't the best, but yeah, they're definitely putting a lot more work into uh, the hippie woman this year. Oh, definitely, and uh, almost every episode so thank far. Thank goodness, actually, because yeah. I find her very funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's been good. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and then comic book wise, um, I saw you posted some other Lemires that you found that you're going to be uh, saving up to get down the road. Yeah. I, I have the bad habit of looking for stuff and it drives me crazy because I found, what was it for? I can't remember. Uh -huh. It wasn't a lot of new comics, but, yeah, they're spendy. There's some in the hundred dollar range, and yeah, and just one in twenty five variants and stuff like that. Right. So yeah, once you start looking at stuff, it's definitely yeah. more than you might expect. That's actually out there. It, it, I haven't learned to leave well enough alone. You know. I, yeah. But I enjoy his covers. So I'm going to buy them. Yeah. Sooner or later, I'm going to buy them. Right. Yeah. And then the new list for uh, the advanced list that's out for February. Um, well, for everybody except for Image. Except um, for Image. Yeah, they always seem to be later than everybody else. And I'm really looking forward to some of these DC titles. Uh, me in particular, I'm looking forward to the Green Arrow. Uh, is it Williamson? Yeah, doing that one. Yeah, I, I, and then Mark I, Wade I, is doing. Uh, is he doing Shazam? I can't remember. It doesn't. I'm just guessing. But yeah, there's a few of them out there that I'm looking forward to. Some good no, titles. There's uh, what is it? PKJ doing Green Lantern. He is. Yeah, it'll be John Stewart. Yeah, no, and I then see. there's also going to be a new Hal Jordan one as well. But um, so you you like John Stewart, correct? I, I do. And like I said today, I haven't read a lot of him. Uh, I know him mainly, mainly from the cartoons, so hmm. I like his character a lot. Um, I've never really gotten through a whole Green Lantern story, maybe not even a whole Green Lantern arc, but if there is going to be one Green Lantern, I, I will enjoy. I think it's probably going to be him. So, yeah, you you know how you are with, with uh, Keanu, every movie he's in, uh, being yeah. Bill and Ted's? Yeah. Well, that's I'm kind of like that with Green, with Hal Jordan now. Uh, whether I'm reading him or anything, I see Ryan um, Reynolds. Reynolds. So, you know, just reading the book, that's who I see. So, um, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Yeah, see, and I like Ryan Reynolds. I, I, know. I do too. So, and just that Hal Jordan, it, it's uh, like I can see Nathan Fillion playing that character. Huh. So, and I think he was up for it at one point in his career. Or wanted to do it with a tax to it or something. Right. I, I might be making that up. Who's to say? Uh, but so I've, I've always liked Hal Jordan. Yeah. You know, the whole hour and a half I saw of him in a movie. Exactly. But I haven't read a single exactly. comic. Uh, I did like uh, the Green Lantern in uh, Jeff John's Justice League run. Just because he called dibs on Wonder Woman. I thought that was funny. The only Green Lantern I've liked in a story, I think, was in uh, Omega Men. Um, Kyle Rayner was in that. In yeah, that story. I, and I think it's six to eight books. Uh, I'm probably going to get this wrong. I believe it's Tom King, but I probably got that wrong. And he's he's part of the book, part of the story. And he was a really, I, I didn't even know that at the time when I read it, that Kyle Rayner was a thing. So 
So that was my first exposure to him. And it was actually a real enjoyable story. So, I'm But probably, it wasn't focused on him. I've probably read Guy Gardner more than any Green Lantern because he's in the uh, uh, Justice League International and, right. and, and the new uh, Human Target. So, yeah. But I've read the most books with him as a Green Lantern. And he's a jerk. You know, that's one thing about most of the Green Lanterns is they're not real friendly. <laughs> like most of them are are uh, pretty stuck up, pretty cocky, pretty arrogant. Uh, yeah. I, I, and maybe that's why I like Jon Stewart. He doesn't seem to be, I mean, he's very confident, but he doesn't feel like the other ones do for some reason. Maybe I it's should it. root for the Yellow Core. There you go. I mean, I don't know anything about the, them. The Snesser Core? I just know they exist. Yeah. Pretty much that's all I need. I just need to know you exist in our support. Right. Cool. All right. Well, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much everything I've watched um, and read and look forward to reading. So uh, some news and rumors. Uh, next week on Disney Plus, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special is going to be released. And it's 40 minutes, I believe. Uh, James Gunn works. So looking forward to that. It's supposed to sound like it's going to be pretty good. Better than the Star Wars holiday special for sure. Can't be. Yeah, but so that should be fun. He was, people are so ridiculous. People give him a hard time about, you're supposed to be focused on DC now and blah, 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 blah. He's been great responding to all that stuff on Twitter. Amazing. Um, and speaking of that, our next rumor, uh, MLV Midlife Vices will be cutting over 80% of our workforce. So this might be the end of the show. Or or just one of us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man. Yeah. I hope it's you. <laughs> <laughs> you hope it's me. Thank you. You're welcome. If you're here by yourself, the show is just going to be end credits. So, uh, face it, that's pretty much all people watch. That's true. That's true. If you jump, if you skip forward, tip for the three of you out there watching. If you skip forward to the end credits and you comment on them, then we will think that you will assume that you watch the whole show. So, uh, yes, that's what I do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I do too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nice. Man, this does move along with two of us, doesn't it? It does. We can't slow down our speaking <laughs> anymore. We cannot. We yeah. cannot. We're going to have to bring on uh, Captain Kirk, whatever his real name is. To talk very really. slow. Yes. And yeah. dramatically. And dramatically. <laughs> nice. All right, so that is going to take us. Oh, yes. Wow. I'll show you mine. So what do you got this week, Jim? Got something big. Something that just broke. Oh, nice. Oh. Sorry, I don't know, loop. That always defaults to loop, my bad. Also, uh. This has a known defect that the back flap comes off. And yes, it's pretty much broken. Won't stay on. But it's a pretty Have cool. you ever been able to wear it? Well, I mean, I, I can wear it. The, the back flap just don't come on. Right. Uh, and then uh, let's see here. That's go. pretty awesome, though. That's cool. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so it rotates through the colors. Uh, my oldest son loves wearing it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, pretty fun. Just sits on my bookshelf like everything else. So anyway, that's uh, my Ant-Man nice. helmet. Cool. And then I've got one that I probably should have showed last week, and I walked past it today. Uh, this is the uh, Ultimate Matrix collection. Um, and there's the... Uh, Neo figure inside the case there. Uh, I've had this for 
Oh, my wife got it for me whenever it first came out. I don't even know how long ago that was. Probably 20 years ago now. And, so, and you don't empty you don't empty you don't open them, do you? That one's not open. No, I've got the three movies on Blu-ray or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that one's never been open. That's got the animated stuff in there and all that along with it. Uh, a few yeah, other, stuff. yeah. There's a uh, Animatrix. It's is called. It, is it a show? I believe it's it, it's a it's a single movie. I believe you know how I am with the animated stuff. So uh, let me see. This comes with the Matrix, Matrix Revisited, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Reloaded Revisited, which is a feature. <laughs> uh, Matrix Revolutions commentaries. Uh, the Animatrix, which is uh, nine short films from pioneering anime directors exploring the world of the Matrix. Hmm. Roots of the Matrix, The Burly Man Chronicles, and The Zion Archive. Are there, uh, are there novels? Along, along there with novels? the Trinity statue, or a Neo statue. Are there novels for the Matrix? Dude, I don't know. These are all questions you should have asked last week when there was somebody here who might have the answer for you. Oh, Jason, call me. Jason, comment. Yeah, he's commenting. He'll comment as soon as he sees it. We'll know Wednesday about 1220. Uh, no, he waits a little longer than that. The, well, my time. Oh, well, good plan. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but that's fun. Uh, it's cool. I don't, I've had it forever. It sits on a shelf with the rest of our movie stuff. But it kind of, uh, Collecting kind of depresses me sometimes. As much as I want all this stuff, uh -huh. it sits upstairs that, and I don't really, once I have it, it's kind of just to the back burner. Right. You know? So I'm wondering if I stopped collecting, if I would actually notice it, that I stopped. Not. Or if I would just save money. Well, yeah, but would you notice that you save money? Or would you just waste it on something different? Well, yeah, I mean, it would, I don't know, the house would be paid off, paid off a little sooner, I guess. Eh. <laughs> you only live debt free. Yeah. You only live once. That's right. So that was. Oh, yes. Wow. Show you mine. I love how on the bottom of our pictures right now, it looks like my kids got a hold of the pumpkins. Just it looks, it looks destroyed down there, but that's a candle on a cloth. That's not very fire friendly. It's not. No, no. Hmm. It's almost as bad as an open flame in a wooded area. So, uh, our our neighbors have a pumpkin patch, and we go down there every year, and we get not just pumpkins, but squash of many different varieties. Right. And I, I towards the end of October, they start going bad. I don't, we don't even make it to Halloween generally. So I give them a rubber mallet and let them just go to town. It, we live out in the middle of nowhere. And just, you know, they just destroy pumpkins and gourds and have a good old time. Get the aggression out. Yeah. <laughs> and I keep waiting for them to take the rubber mallet and bounce it back into them. It hasn't <laughs> happened yet, but I'm waiting for it. I'll get it on video one of these days. So I saw you got uh, your dog doing some pretty good, some pretty good stuff. Man, he picked that roll over pretty fast, didn't he? It took him a day to learn how yeah. to do it. Yeah. Now he doesn't do it one hundred percent of the time when I ask right. him. Half the time it's because he can't quite get all the way over. Right. He'll go and then come back and then think that's good enough and want treats, yeah. and then I got to put him in his place. Say no. But yeah, he's he's doing really well. He. he we have a tree grove to the north side of our house that every time we let him out to go to the bathroom, he runs in there and stays in there for 30 minutes and I can't find him. So I got to get dressed, go outside, call from, and then he just comes, but he won't yeah. come if you don't go outside. Oh, so going outside in 20 degree weather or whatever it is. So it's fun. Yeah. Dogs are great. Oh, yeah. I can't even imagine not having that dog now. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking to get a second one sometime. Maybe next year. It depends. With traveling and stuff, it's hard enough having one dog. Mm -hmm. um, then you get two and you got a board. It gets expensive or it gets 
uh, you don't want to inconvenience people on the other side of things, you know, if you take your dogs with you. So, yeah, like I said, we went to, we went to the city yesterday and we had to have my mother-in-law come over to watch not only the kids, but yeah. the dog, you know, right. and you know, he's a 76 pound dog. Right. I could really hurt her if he wanted to, you know, not that I think he would or anything, but it's sure. just, so, so we probably called home more times to check on the dog than we have ever called throughout the last five years of checking on the kids when she was watching. The first couple of times we left Parker home alone when we'd go out, it, of course we didn't have anybody to call, but everything we did was kind of rushed because we wanted to get through stuff so we could get back home. So we were worried about him. Now we can leave him. He's good in the house or when it's not too cold or too hot out, he's good out in the yard um, for quite a while. So there's no issues anymore. And so he's so far, he's never chewed anything up uh, in the house. So we've been lucky that way. And um, I want to get a, I want to get a camera, a motion camera or something to in the house that catches what he's doing while we're gone. Cause that's what I'm always kind of curious about. Does he just sleep the whole time or is he up and down at the door looking out the whole time or what's going on? Yeah. I, I'm afraid of what I'd find sometimes, you know, you yeah. know like licking my toothbrush or, you know, <laughs> so, nice. some things are best left unknown. They are. They are. You have a mail message. Mail message. We have mail. First one, Joseph from New York is telling us what he's thankful for. He says he's thankful for all of his friends and stretch pants. Mm, and Meredith from Scranton, she's thankful for tank tops. Uh, that was a short list. I think everybody's preparing for the holidays and they've been kind of busy. Uh, but if you would like to mail, have your mail read on our show, send all correspondence through DMs or email. Or if you'd like a personalized response, please mail us a self-addressed stamped envelope. You have a mail message. You, you, you know, if you send it to me, it don't have to be a self-adjusted. Just mail <laughs> me a letter. I'll mail, I'll mail something back. I'm not afraid of postage. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Cash on delivery. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I want, does anybody do that anymore? I, I can't imagine they do, right? I, well, I, I haven't. I don't know. I've never done it, so... I posted today on on Twitter about uh, TV guides because I was we were, I was going through some stuff and I found Sherry has some. Uh, this was a while back. She still had some TV guides saved up from. They were either like Walton's covers or Michael Jackson covers or something. I can't remember which ones we have, but um, it got me thinking how crazy it was. Like that at the time was our. Uh, that was our advanced solicits. That was our pull list or whatever our our teaser trailers and stuff that we got excited about it was who could get their hands on the tv guide the it, it was an exciting day yeah it was yeah i don't think i don't know if people now can comprehend what that was like uh getting that tv guide but yeah it was exciting yeah it, you, it was. you know it's crazy go to ebay or whatever and look up prices on some of those tv guides it's okay. nuts what people will collect here I say you're, that after I just talked about sharing money. You're about spending money, and you're like, go look at this. <laughs> you might like this. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. All right. Well, that's going to take us into our top 10 list for tonight. And for tonight is the top 10 Thanksgiving episodes or movies. Top 10 episodes or movies. And uh, let me tell you, this isn't as easy easy as i thought it would be um there's not nearly as many thanksgiving episodes out there as there are say christmas or halloween or pretty much anything else so but we got our list together and we're going to tell you I, I i will say this if i went with more than one thanksgiving episode for any franchise this is uh -huh. very easy yeah i i have one list per television series and only my number 10 is a show that I'm not the biggest fan of. Right. And But I, the episode actually made me laugh. So I've watched most of my list this week. Uh, 
and it made me laugh. I, I I did laugh out loud during this episode. It's just I don't like the character. It's kind of like Seinfeld for me. I'm not a big fan right. of characters, so it's uh, sure of the people of the characters. Yeah. However, you would say that. I don't think they're good right. people. So okay, so let's go. Yeah, number ten. You want me to go first? You want to go first? You go first. Have you ever went first? I don't think so. Okay, my number 10 is... That's what she said. Yes, sir. I was Hi-oh! setting it up. Oh, Mine... yeah. <laughs> it was long and drawn out. I tried to interrupt a recording. What? <laughs> my... <laughs> my number 10 is uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The gang squashes beefs. So have you have not watched this, have you? I've never seen an episode of Always okay, Sunny. So I am not a huge fan. Like I just said, I'm not a fan. I, I think all the characters are just jerks. Uh, Danny DeVito's in the show. And and it's it's funny. It's a very funny show. It's just uh-huh. I don't like the characters. Right. So in this one, they realize how many people that they've wronged. And so they decide to have a Thanksgiving dinner and invite everyone to uh, to put a halt to all these beefs that they have. And they wanted to sign a, uh, a peace document. <laughs> and they ended, up, they, they ended up boarding people inside the room that they set on fire. I mean, they don't kill anybody, I don't think. But <laughs> it, it's just crazy. And this one guy had lost an eye and he has like a horrible patch. And it's like, not his skin color it just looks terrible he has no depth perception and it made me laugh out loud so anyway that's my number 10 uh sorry son in philadelphia the gang squashes beefs cool good choice yeah there was a few that i i because like always i typed in imdb just thanksgiving shows and there was a bunch that came up and i was thinking about going and watching a few but that i hadn't seen but i thought well if i'm doing a list that's my favorites i wouldn't you know, adding something like the day before that I've never seen probably doesn't so, work, but. So that's funny. Uh, well, like I said, uh, friends would probably have four spots on my list. Yeah. If I went with multiple. No, no, I'm not criticizing your, what, you know. No, no. I, but I, I thought the exact same thing on my list. There are, well, there would be two that I hadn't seen before yesterday. Right. But I think as far as how I laughed at him, well, the other one will be for sure because it's uh, coming up. It's number seven. So it, it uh, passed up some that I had already seen. So, Right. So, okay. Nice. On okay. to number 10. My number 10 is Grumpy Old Man. Huh. Now, this is one I didn't realize was actually Thanksgiving – based um so when searching through imdb and it was on there for thanksgiving movies um i had seen it before so uh yeah i went with that for my number 10 i mean i struggled coming up with 10 total but it does take place at thanksgiving uh family comes over at thanksgiving um just the characters are just a hilarious hilarious movie all the way through I, I uh, Walter Matthau, watched. jack lemon uh, Burgess Meredith, they're just hilarious. Uh, Kevin, um, five, uh, five J. No, <laughs> uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I can't remember his name now, but yeah, the whole uh, Daryl Hannah. I mean, it's just got a ton of people, and it's just it's hilarious. It's a really, really funny movie. I'm gonna have to watch it because I, I haven't seen it. And the post credits are great too. And there's a lot of, I was reading about a lot of it. And there's a lot of stuff where they just kind of uh, ad lib as they're going and go off script and they kept it in the, in the show. So um, yeah, nice. really good. Nice. So that was my number 10. Okay. I'm, I'm going to spoil something for you here because. Okay. You haven't seen it. Anyway, uh, number nine is how I met your mother slaps giving. Okay. Uh, I had not watched this episode in at least four years, but it, it's pretty funny. It really highlights uh, oh, uh, 
Marshall in the episode. Anyway, it's you don't know about the slap bet, do you? Yes, I know about the bet. Okay, yeah. so they have a bet where there's a, a Marshall gets a slap Barney five times at any any point. No warning, no nothing. He just gets a slap him. So he sets up a, a countdown where he's going to slap him on Thanksgiving. And he actually writes a song about it. it it's it's great. It's uh, they have slap appetizers. They have anyway. It, it, it's a very funny episode. That's and season three, right? It's season three. I, I didn't write down the seasons. I, I think it is. I think it's season three. Uh, well, it's after Ted and Robin break up. Actually, they they sleep together the night before Thanksgiving. And anyway, I didn't care much for that whole storyline, but the rest of it. Although they bring up a great recurring joke in that episode with uh, they talk about uh, anytime someone said that it's general knowledge, they always general knowledge. Anyway, oh, it, yeah. it cracks me up. I, me and my wife both still do that occasionally. Uh, it's a major pain, major pain. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, that's my number nine. It's how I met your mother. Slaps giving. I'm looking forward to you watching this episode. Yeah, they'll be coming up. We're on like episode 20 or something of season two. So uh, we'll be there soon. Nice. My number nine. We're going to do a little game here and see if people can guess what my number nine is. We this I found this game last week when I was trying to uh, do something with Jason to show him a couple characters. And it didn't work out like I had hoped. So if you, if you uh, do it right and put it in front of our pictures, I will die laughing. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> Total fail. Total fail. <laughs> what can it be? <laughs> I looked at this before and I swear, you know why? Because it was just my picture on there. So it looked like that. That's what I should have done. Remind yeah. me next time. Anytime you can get me off the screen, go for it. <laughs> and then I even had it figured out. Where uh, <laughs> I could actually then bring it up in front. See, look at that, boy! I'm getting good at this game. I think I think the recurring joke of this whole segment is going to be that we're never going to get it right. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I I really enjoyed that. Uh, so that's my number nine: is planes, trains, and automobiles. I have seen this movie. I don't remember how it ends. But I have seen it. and uh, uh, It ends with them making it there. Um, what's that? It ends with them making it to their destination. Yeah. Well, for some <laughs> reason, I imagine, right, like right now, I imagine it where they separate and and that's John Candy, right? John, yes. John Candy gets, meets up with his, his uh, polka band and he, he drives to uh, Home Alone House. Right. And that's how I imagine that movie ending now. So with yeah, with the polka band, that's 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 probably my favorite part of the that's home alone, isn't it? The polka band? Oh my god. Yeah, I think you that's just, home you just alone. really confused me. Yeah, that's home alone. When he, when he's riding, when he's traveling, he ends up with a I'm he's, I'm not gonna lie, it's been like fifteen years since I saw this movie. So he's a salesman. Um, right. Yeah, so the polka band is in Home Alone. Okay. When the wife gets rides with the polka band. That's right. When she's coming back. Yeah. That's so right. I, because she can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this segment is just going to. to yeah. uh, so my number 10 is Home Alone. <laughs> Moving on to your number eight. <laughs> okay. My, my number nine was a movie I have no clue about. <laughs> And yet ones that I saw yesterday don't count. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that I liked that movie. That's why it was yeah, it, and not... it, It's funny. It's uh, For some reason, I, I don't hold it as high as most people. I find it pretty vulgar for Steve Martin. Right. So, yeah. And I'm not saying he's clean or anything. It's just sure that one. I have, I have trouble with that one. Right. Uh, okay, so my number eight is uh, the Bob Newhart show, uh, Over the River and Through the Woods. 
I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, anytime someone gets drunk in a TV show it makes me laugh generally. Uh-huh. And you have three of them on Thanksgiving with their plans all fall through and they get drunk and they end up ordering Chinese food and, and they're ordering uh, uh, Goo Goo Pie Pen. I can't think of what it's called. Uh, but it's it just Bob Newhart cracks me up in that episode. It, it, if you haven't seen it, I, I suggest I watching it. No. Is it on Hulu or? It is on Hulu, I believe. Okay. Or Freebie or some something like that. It, uh, it It's free. You, you don't have to pay to watch it. Right. Uh, and probably the first 15 minutes aren't that great. But the last 15 minutes are fantastic. It's it's very funny. Nice. So so that's my number eight, the Bob Newhart show. I need to go back and watch that whole series. Yeah, I I think because Heather watched all these episodes with me as well, and she laughed, but she was like, I don't know any of the characters. So right. And I mean it's pretty your pretty much your standard yeah. characters. So anyway, it is an older show, so it's harder to uh, get some of the humor. Right. Well, it's not harder to get it. It's harder to uh, put it in its place. Let's put it that way. Right. Yeah, absolutely. All right. My number eight is my first of the a couple friends episodes, and it is the one with the football. So, of course, uh, Monica and Ross, being as competitive as they are, they decide to play for the Geller Cup uh, in some touch football down at the football field. It wasn't thrown in the lake. <laughs> it was, and then it was retrieved. Uh, what a, a beautiful trophy, beautiful trophy. And, of course, while they're out there, nobody wants Rachel on their team um, because she's just so horrible. And uh, so they split up the teams and they're playing. And then there's a girl from uh, Germany. No, no, no. She's from the Netherlands. Oh, okay. Because remember, they ask Joey where the Netherlands are. Chandler does in front of her because she's. uh, And he thought it was made up. And he's like, that's where Peter Pan's from. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not my favorite Friends episode. Yeah. the ones that focused more on Monica weren't all, and that kind of focused a lot on her. They weren't always my favorite, but overall, I mean, it's, it's a hilarious episode. Um, I so not to talk bad about that woman that they were fighting over, but I didn't find uh, her particularly attractive compared to a lot of women they were around every day, and not just in the friends group. You know, they just right. It's just like wow that. That's one that you're gonna let come between you, <laughs> you know. But she was she was international, right? She was yeah. exotic. <laughs> that's that's why you won't get her. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's why laminated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a right. it, it, it's a good episode. It's it's probably my least favorite Thanksgiving episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. What's your number seven? My number seven is one I just watched yesterday. It's uh, Modern Family, Three Turkeys. Uh, so I watched two episodes from Modern Family for Thanksgiving. The other one's very good as well. But this one just made me laugh out loud. Uh, the husband, and I, I don't know any of the character names. I, can, I can't remember right. a single one of them. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, other than Al Bundy, yeah, and that's obviously not his name. <laughs> uh, anyway, the husband of the younger couple, not the dad. Anyway, he uh, he's going to do the cooking for Thanksgiving, and so the wife makes another turkey in case he messes it up in the garage. And anyway, and then Al Bundy, whatever his character name is, and his young wife are supposed to go to Mexico to visit his wife's family. Well, they're 
trip gets canceled, but they don't tell the family. And so they, they shoot a fake video of them in Mexico because they want to <laughs> relax. And so they're at their house and they're cooking a small turkey in their stove. So there's these three turkeys and then everyone else decides, hey, we're going to go to the dad's house to have our Thanksgiving because he's got the biggest place. So they show up there. So they sneak out of the house and come back in and they're hiding turkeys and suitcases. And it, <laughs> anyway, it's it really made me laugh. I, I thought it was very well done. Uh, <laughs> when, when the dad pulls out, they, they the wife takes out the wrong turkey out of the stove and leaves in the small one that they were cooking right and so when the dad that was doing the cooking and the wife was hoping to get messed up pulled out the little one he's like i overcooked it and it shrank you know it was just it just made me laugh i thought it was great so anyway uh that's a show i really enjoy it is it's made it's funny me laugh. it's a funny show yes yeah nice. so that's my number seven cool my number seven everybody loves raymond turkey or fish so it's, this is season one deborah wants to start her own thanksgiving tradition instead of serving turkey she wants to serve fish for thanksgiving well of course ray's mom is not extremely happy with this um and so she decides that well the tradition is always going to be at my house not at your house so i'm just going to go home and make my own turkey and then she of course makes frank choose where he's going to eat um, he figures he'll eat both places. Uh, Deborah's parents also show up, and of course, they're all. You, uh, if you've seen the show, you know what they're like. They think they're pretty sophisticated and stuff, so they're all over the f fish thing. Uh, Ray's mother comes over and brings her turkey with her that she baked or that she cooked because she's pretty sure that Deborah's fish is going to be a a right. bomb and nobody's going to want it. And and uh, while they're preparing the fish ray ends up putting it in the dishwasher and turning on the dishwasher accidentally and and i uh, just all sorts of stuff uh it's a really really funny episode i uh i have not watched this one in quite a while yeah i just can't imagine having a mother-in-law like that oh my goodness like it's... <laughs> I, I i don't have a mother no i i, <laughs> I uh She's a pretty amazing, she's an amazing grandma. What more can you yeah. ask about a mother? Though? Right. So. Yeah. Okay. So that was my number seven. Oddly enough, my number six is Everybody Loves Raymond, the bird. So this is uh, towards the end of the run. They go to Amy's parents' house. Oh my God. How did I forget about this one? Yeah. I, I forgot about it until today and I rewatched it. I mean, I, I'd seen it before. Yeah. And it, I was like, oh, how is that not high on my list? Cause I really enjoy that. So a bird flies into their window and knocks itself out. And so they bring it inside and Amy's mom, again, don't know anybody's name, but she, she ends up killing it. She, she takes it behind into the kitchen and she comes back out and goes, is the bird okay? She's like, yeah, I took care of it took care of it how you know <laughs> and so the whole episode is about about uh, ray and his side of the family and arguing with the other side about oh yeah the, well we, we're, we're on a farm and we're in the city which is quite funny because i'm watching this thinking like this would be my parents and <laughs> and my my house now you know because yeah my mom comes back here she don't like it if i take shots at some wildlife that are trying to eat my house anyway right. so uh it's it's a very funny episode it it cracked me up frank is very funny in this episode every but, time those two families get together they're the, the, the parents the grandparents yeah anytime that's just amy's mom with that the very sheepish right yeah, oh gosh, she she makes me laugh. And then of course they got the episodes where she's smoking and Yeah, that was a great episode too. Yeah. Not Thanksgiving though, so I couldn't have it. No. Well you could she yeah. smokes and you smoke a turkey and turkeys with for Thanksgiving, so you can then her it, husband you know, likes and, to light fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> I like to blow things up. Yeah. And of course her brother, crazy brother. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember what his name is in real life. I don't know. 
Anyway, yes. uh, anyway, oh, so yeah, it, this is a great Thanksgiving episode, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm upset. It took me this long to remember it until today. I was like, I need to watch this. So, all right, all right. So my number six is Big Bang Theory, the Pirate Solution. Uh, it's Columbus Day. Thanksgiving is approaching. Raj is about ready to get sent home because he got um, his research stalled, so they're going to uh, send him away. Um, and they're trying to figure out ways to get him to uh, be able to stay. So what's the obvious choice? Uh, let's go ahead and have Sheldon hire him to work with him on his projects. So we end up with Sheldon and Raj in Sheldon's tiny little office. They're trying to share an office with two desks. Um, and just completely, completely going at each other in the funniest way with the two of them. Um, I don't remember this being a Thanksgiving episode. It Thanksgiving is approaching. That's how it's described. Okay. Um, so they're, they're getting, they're preparing for Thanksgiving. And, they, uh, uh... Of course, Howard starts hanging out with uh, Leonard and Penny and uh, getting in the middle of everything they're trying to do as well. Every time they try and uh, spend some time together, Howard's there. So, yeah. Raj brings in the big desk. And the yes. Yeah. Puts a snake in the desk. Raj opened it and he's like, you tried to scare an Indian with a snake? Are you stupid or are you crazy or whatever he says? Yeah. So, funny episode. Funny episode. Oddly enough, my number five is a Big Bang Theory episode as well. Decoupling. What's yeah. the, what's the title? Decoupling. Okay. It's uh, they're going to Howard and Bernadette's house for Thanksgiving with Bernadette's dad's there. <laughs> they find out Penny's married to Zach. Right. No, it wasn't a real wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Which. You would think when you had to sign the paperwork, you would realize it was real. You know, I, I've never quite understood how uh, that joke works repeatedly. And but anyway, it's uh, Zach makes this episode for me. I find him. I don't know if you're the kind of guy I want dating my wife. You know, <laughs> he just gets to say the best stuff. He does. It just it just really makes uh, me laugh uh, <laughs> when he says. Uh, I don't know if I want a divorce or I don't know if I want this. It's generally hard on the kids. You don't have any kids. Well, how do you know? You didn't even know you were married until a couple minutes ago. <laughs> he and does get some great lines. Yeah, it's just it's just uh, great stuff. Uh, then what else was going on in this episode? Uh, Sheldon gets drunk with Bernadette's dad. Uh, yeah, just a very funny episode. It is very funny. So. Nice. Yep. So Good that's pick. my number five. Oh, we didn't do the high five. Yeah. No, we didn't, did we? Man. Boy, Thanksgiving is killing me here. Thanksgiving is killing me. High five. Four. <laughs> nice. All right. So my number five Scent of a Woman. Scent of a Woman. So the reason I picked this one, first, it's just a great movie from start to finish. Uh, Al Pacino, Chris O'Donnell, just fantastic, the whole movie. But the Thanksgiving scene, um, everybody's over at Al Pacino's place. They're sitting around the table. And this is when I believe it's his son-in-law decides to tell the colonel just what a horrible person he is. Uh, just going at him. And you, on Chris O'Donnell's face the whole time watching, just can't believe that what he's talking about what he's saying to him and how disrespectful he's being and stuff like that. And uh, it lasts for like three or four minutes of just going at him. And then there's a couple times he calls uh, Chris O'Donnell's character, Chucky, the, the son-in-law, I think his son, son, son-in-law doesn't matter. Uh, and Al Pacino jumps up and grabs him by the throat and throws him into the wall and tells him that his name is Charles, not Chucky. And that he could crush his throat if he wanted to. And well, that's a, it's a pretty dramatic scene. It really makes you feel bad for Al Pacino. I think that's in the movie the whole time he's been pretty 
unlikable until and then you kind of get some empathy for him when that moment comes around. So yeah. just a great movie. God, I love that movie. It, I do enjoy that movie. And I'm not sure empathy is the right word because it doesn't change him being a selfish jerk for the most part. Uh, you feel bad for him because his family is Feels right. Like you know, I, I, I mean, right. I'm not sure I would like Al Pacino any more or less. It, well, kind of like him much less than what I did at that point in the movie. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So, what's your favorite scene in the whole movie? See, I, I, I oh, well, the, court, the courtroom scene. scene's great. Uh, the, um, yeah, the, the courtroom scene's probably at the end is yeah. probably the best. Like that's just awesome. Ricky, Johnny, David. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the driving scene. Yeah, that's a great movie. It is a good movie. It is so good. So that was my number five. All right, my number four is uh, the West Wing. Shibboleth is the episode. Do you remember this episode? Have you seen it? I don't remember. We've watched we watched the whole series years ago when it was on TV, but I haven't seen them okay, since. So the the whole thing is not necessarily Thanksgiving. Uh, CJ, who is the uh, press secretary, uh -huh. they deliver the. She has to pick the turkey to uh, pardon, and then one gets, you know, right. So they they release the turkeys in her office and over the weekend, and or Toby and. And uh, you know the other guy does. I can't think of his name at the moment. Rob Lowe? Jo Josh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Josh. yeah. Yeah. So, and then and then there's a whole storyline with uh, Chinese immigrants, and, and the whole movie is very good. Uh, Charlie is trying to pick out a new carving knife for the president, and keeps bringing them in. And the president's like, no, and don't understand why and and presents that like, show well, is so good he's like well you know the carving knife is something that you pass along from your to your that you get from your father and he gets from his father and then charlie says well why don't you have yours from your father he says i do i just need a new one because i'm giving this one to you you know so it <laughs> anyway it was just a great episode it, uh hits you right in the fields uh yeah i uh my wife loves that episode just because of the turkeys in in CJ's office. Uh, CJ yeah. is like her favorite character. She really loves that character. She's and, good. It's a yeah. really good show. It, it's all a around. great show. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that, that that's uh, it's no American president, but <laughs> yeah. who's in that? What's it called? <laughs> What's it... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's another show I need to go back and watch now is West Wing. It's like, yeah. I, I've never finished the series. I, uh, I make it to like season four every time we try to watch it and then we right. get somewhere else. But So you're kind of a one-term guy. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's right after uh, the re-election that we lose steam somehow. No, uh, it's actually during the Remember the be. episode where uh, Josh and Toby get stranded uh, on the trail? There and they're. Uh, they I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's like the last episode I remember. Okay. So that, that's about as far as we made it in the series. Nice. And I know some spoilers that happen. Like I know the Secretary of State. Uh, sec no, not the Secretary of State. The uh, Chief of Staff. I know he dies, but. Anyway, I uh, the West Wing, Shibboleth, great nice. episode of TV. All right, my number four is the Cosby Show, Cliff's Wet Adventure. So pretty much what this episode is all about is they're having Thanksgiving and they need some more supplies, and uh, Claire, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. keeps sending Cl uh, Cliff to get more stuff. So, um. She needs this. She needs that. They keep forgetting an item, and it's storming outside. So every the, the funniest part of the whole show is every time he comes back, he opens the door 
he's standing there in his trench coat and his hat, uh, looking almost like a noir character would. And the, the storm, the lightning and the thunder behind him, the rain coming down or flashing. And he opens the door and just kind of stand there and look, looks and then brings in what she needed and then gets sent off, has to go out again. It happens like three or four times through the show. And uh, I mean, just, just, just funny stuff. Just I the way that, that episode. Oh, it's good. Hmm. It's a good one. Of course, yeah. you won't find it anywhere on TV to watch, but um, well, it's good. Be, it used to be on Amazon. It used to be. Yeah. Hmm. But a uh, really fun episode. All right. So that's my number four. All right. My number three is my friend's episode, which is uh, the one where Ross got high. So good. Yeah. Just uh, this is the one where Rachel has to make the uh, trifle. The pages are stuck together. Chandler? Uh, yeah. Uh, Joey makes this episode for me with his old, uh, what's not the like? Peas, good. Meat, good. Custard, good. Yeah. It, it, it's funny. I, Phoebe, I think Jack is still dead. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's, that's right, because Phoebe's having dreams about Jack. That's right. And then she's real attracted to, to Ross's dad the whole episode. And then she ends up uh, finding out that – or losing interest in him. No, Or is it the other way around? No, she had a dream about Jack. And that's then, right. And then uh, something – I don't know how Jack could so got in there. I don't know. Anyway. I can't remember now. Yeah, it, it's – it's a very funny episode. And they're rushing to get out of there, right? And that's, yeah, Joey, if you want to go, just go. Yeah, because yeah, the right. pilgrims want to meet hot girls in the new world. <laughs> that's right. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good one. I didn't put it on my list because I knew you were, put, you told me you were putting it on your list. So I kept that one off. That easily could have been up there for me, too. I mean, that's definitely one of my favorite, uh, favorite yeah, episodes. It's one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. Nice. That, you got more on your list, right? I do. Okay, so I'll, I'll wait. I, I won't even say anymore. Okay. So my next um, is uh, Friends, the one with all the Thanksgivings. So this is flashbacks. This is flashbacks things. and then the turkey dance, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, it's just so much stuff, right? I think this was season five. Let me look at yeah, because it's it's right yeah. before they got married. Right, right. So this is Fat Chandler. Yeah. Um, They're dating. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. Really, it's just the the whole thing. There's so many. I I know people love the the Monica fat suit. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. Uh, but I really like the way that episode ends. You know, Chandler finding out that she cut off his toe on can't remember, because he called her fat or something like that. Cut off my toe because I called, he was he deserved it. I ain't gonna lie, he was kind of a jerk, wasn't he? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure any of the guys are actually really good people. <laughs> you know, no. But just I'm not sure any uh, of the either, really. But uh, this also is the. Uh, uh, turkey on the head one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because yeah, oh, so, and then, Joey, and then Joey, yeah, Joey gets us stuck. And then at the end, when when Monica's trying to make Chandler laugh, she, she puts it over his head, over her head, okay. comes in, and this. this so those are my favorite parts when Joey has it on his head, and, yeah. and Monica comes in and he lays down and hoping she wouldn't notice. Yeah. Remember Phoebe's decorating the turkey? Yeah, and then he gets up and they're talking, and he's on the chicken on the turkey right you know so and, this is this is one of the continuity errors and they happen within a year of each other in episodes um because there was this and when monica's dancing with the turkey on on her head uh chandler's laughing he says i love you and then he goes what or she's something about that's the first time i've said that right and then the at the very maybe the season later the one with Phoebe uh, trying to seduce the one where they all find out when Phoebe seducing Chandler, 
Mm-hmm. And it says, why can't you, uh, why can't you uh, be with me? And Chandler says, because I love Monica. And that's the first time he tells her he loves her. So yeah, uh, see, there's, I don't there's really, a little c- continuity here. I don't consider that a continuity error because he didn't say it like he did in that episode. It wasn't the same thing. You know, he's like, oh, oh, I love you. You know, it wasn't the same kind of I love you. I guess. Uh. And then, of course, Joey comes in and Monica's standing there and he falls down and runs yeah, away. He was trying to scare Chandler. That's why he did it in the first place. And then the, the best line of the whole episode is, man, it really smells up here. Of course it smells. You got your head up a dead animal. <laughs> That's right. Oh. One thing I love, too, about the flashback episodes is is the uh, the styles they put uh, Ross and Chandler in, whether yeah. it was the Miami Vice or the Flock of Seagulls yeah. or the, you know, just just great. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that one had the uh, the Miami Vice stuff on the blue jacket and the white jacket with Chandler yeah. and the hair all slicked back. And yeah, such a good episode. Yes. So. Yes. Good stuff. That was my number three. My number two is probably your number one. Cheers. No, this is my number two. Okay. Thanksgiving yeah. orphans. Yes. So, so we just, my wife did not remember this episode. So we sat down and watched it. I think I have it uh-huh. about memorized. Right. But so we put it on. And when we got to the food fight scene, my <laughs> boys came out of the woodworks to watch this. They did. <laughs> and then we watched it and they turned and they, let's watch that again. And we had to watch this food fight like four times. Nice. It, it was it was fantastic. Uh, yeah, the only appearance of Vera in the series. Yeah, because yeah, of course she doesn't want... Yeah, so the premise, of course, is everybody uh, decides to get together at Carla's house for Thanksgiving. Of course, Sam's supposed to have a date. And Diane's supposed to be going to a... Uh, sem- not a seminar, right. but her her uh, instructor, her teacher's house. I don't know who's luckier, you because you get to go to that great party, or <laughs> us because you get to go to that great party, right? And of course, it ends up that they just want Diane there to serve food and stuff, and and Sam's date ends up getting messed up, and so of course they all end up at Vera at, at uh, Carla's house. But just the way they said, you know, Fraser uh, keeps getting the TV turned away from him. Yeah, like. You know, it's just hilarious. Nobody even cares that Fraser's sitting there watching it. Uh, who's the first one that does it? Sam does it second. Uh, is it Woody that does it first? No, Norm. Norm comes in yeah. and sits down and, and turns the TV towards him. And Fraser's like, what's going on here? And then later, Sam does it. Same thing. Finally, he gets up and moves over out of his... I don't know why they just didn't move the TV back, but there wouldn't have been comedy. But um... Yeah, and then... Uh... Diane not wanting to watch football and hey, they're wearing different uniforms, but they have to after every touchdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it took her what two games before she figured out and, that it was a different game. There's there's little things in that episode that absolutely oh. crack me up. Like when Sam says, I gotta go see a man about a horse, and Woody has to tell <laughs> Diane he doesn't really. really have to see a man about a horse. It just my yeah. favorite line. Oh yeah, my favorite line from Woody in this one is the uh, "This is my first Thanksgiving away from home." Well, yeah, let's count last year. year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, where's Where's Vera, Norm? Well, she's She's gonna put on a little more makeup. The first coat didn't take. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just yeah, it's just a great episode of TV. Yeah, and of course, nobody, everybody's reluctant to tell what they're thankful for, except for Diane, and she just goes on and on thanking just random people throughout history. Uh. And then I also, I, I really enjoy uh, Fraser at the end of the food fight. It's like, you know, I didn't get a chance to have any of the, of the mashed potatoes. And I'm like, oh, here you go. And takes them <laughs> Yeah. Plop them on his plate. It's just, oh, it's it was good. It. it was so good. Just a great, great show. Yeah. Yeah. So funny. Nice. Mm-hmm. So that's both of our number two. And that mm-hmm. takes us to our number one. If you don't know, bam. Right there. WKRP. WKRP in Cincinnati, Turkey's Away. Now, you have not seen this episode, have you? Oh, I've seen it. I just don't remember it. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Mr. Carlson is 
kind of bored because he's not doing anything involving the station. And so uh, he starts trying to be more involved and, and really driving the rest of the crew crazy. But anyway, he decides he's going to come up with a promotion and he's going to uh, not tell everyone about it. So what he does is he hires a helicopter and gets 20 live turkeys and throws them out of the back of the helicopter at, over a park or over a shopping center. And of course, turkeys can't fly and he doesn't <laughs> know that. And so Les Nesman is there doing his news report and he's it's making it sound like the Hindenburg all over again and the, the turkeys are falling like sacks of concrete. <laughs> And one just went through the windshield of a car. <laughs> and, and then, so anyway, that happens. And they come back to the to the office. And of course, they're on the uh, phone with the Humane Society and the mayor of Cincinnati. Right. And then uh, Les walks in and starts telling them that the, like, the turkeys, like the, the ones that they did throw out the envelope, they thought they can salvage, uh, salvage it and just let them out in the parking lot. Like they they brought up an, an, an armed uh, uh, a, a counterattack. <laughs> anyway, it's just absurd. And then Mr. Carlson comes out of his office, of course, covered in turkey feathers, and says the best lines on TV: "As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly." Anyway, it's it by, is by far my favorite Thanksgiving episode of all time. Yeah. It, it's funny. It's very, very funny. It is. Yeah. No, I remember I remember the episodes. I don't remember. Like again, that's another show that I've looked for on uh, streaming and it's just not there. Yeah, so I, I, I had to buy I bought it on iTunes. I just mm -hmm. bought the episode because right. it's something I will watch every Thanksgiving. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, yeah, it's a great episode. Well that takes me to my number one. And that's Friends, the one with the rumor. I so this it. is, I'll oh, go ahead. I love this episode. I'm just saying. Yeah. So this is the one where uh, Brad Pitt uh, guest stars as an old high school buddy of Ross's. And um, what's his name? It turns out that Ross, uh, it's Will. Okay. Yeah. And of course, Phoebe's just going crazy over him the whole episode. He just lost all the weight. Yeah. 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 He, he lost a ton of weight. Um, and, uh, he hates, hates, hates Rachel. And of course, that's funny because at the time they were together. So, uh, um, because she just basically didn't, you know, didn't pay attention. So, him and Ross had an I Hate Rachel Club in sure. high school. And, and that comes out during the show, of course. Uh, but just so many great, great lines in this one. <laughs> two, two of my greatest enemies ever, Ross. Rachel Green and complex carbohydrates. <laughs> so he's standing, or he's standing across the room looking at her, and she she comes in. And she's like, "Oh, who is that?" And she's staring at him. He's mouthing to her, just glaring at her, saying, "I hate you, I hate you." And she's like, "Ooh, you got smoldering eyes, or or whatever the exact line is." Uh, <laughs> so many great lines in this. I'm trying to remember uh, when when Phoebe hugs him. What? <laughs> and she's like, "Take off your shirt." Yeah. Oh, just take off your shirt, Will. <laughs> oh, I so see. yeah, just but some of the lines. Uh, we I, I wrote a couple down here. Uh, Ross says, "Oh, it was no big deal. We we said that the rumor was that you had both male and female reproductive parts." You're the of course, Will's like, "That's you're right. We said your we said your parents flipped a coin, decided that Rachel was a girl, but you still had a hint of a penis." Right, Monica's like, "You started that." And of course, everybody at their school heard it. Everybody at Chandler School heard it. Uh, she was a hermaphrodite cheerleader from mm -hmm. whatever the school was called. Long Island, or what, yeah. <laughs> and then of course it comes out that one thing I love about Friends is when they do the episodes where they all just start telling secrets about each other, and and that happens in this one because they start talking about Ross uh, dating the fifty-year-old uh, yeah, librarian. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. When you were in high school, you made out with a 50 year old woman. She didn't look 50. Well, did she look 16? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
She, and of course, I'm sure she was an attractive ass- young woman. You can tell it was in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh man. yeah, that's, that episode's great. And of course, Chandler's like, uh, "Hey, I'd shake your hand, but I'm into the game. Plus, I think it'd be better for my ego if I didn't stand right next to if we didn't stand right next yeah. to each other." Oh uh, yeah, and of course, this is the. Uh, Monica's not going to make the turkey episode. So, um, you look surprised. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I was thinking of the the one where they were all late. Okay, you're. Oh right. no, no, no. That I didn't put that one on here. That could have been on here too, because Joey getting his head basted to get him out of the door is just hilarious. Um, but yeah, yeah so she does make the turkey. Yeah, she doesn't want to make a turkey because uh, Phoebe doesn't eat turkey. Uh, Chandler doesn't like Thanksgiving. Chandler doesn't like Thanksgiving. And so Joey, of course, talks her into making a turkey. And he's going to eat it all. And he's going to eat it all. And then he eats it all. Well, he puts on Phoebe's uh, maternity pants. Yes. And then after he eats it all, because she makes the chicken for everybody else, and Joey eats the whole turkey. And then, of course, after he eats it all, he's stuffed and they bring out the pie. I got the meat sweats. Just yeah, just a little slice, a little bigger. <laughs> just, <laughs> what are you saving it for someone? <laughs> I can't remember exactly what he said. I'm a trivia honey. This is what I do. Well, yeah. so this is I, I. We've talked about this. I'm probably sh- said it on the show already about the uh, him when he comes in and he's eating the potato chips, and Monica's like, "What are you doing? You're gonna have a whole turkey to eat." And he looks at her and he says, let me explain how the human body works. I just love that line. I've said that yeah. line to my doctor. I, I, it just makes me laugh out loud every time. It's great. You gotta it is, it's such a good... Yeah, it was the I Hate Rachel Green Club. Who was in the club? Well, me and Ross. <laughs> There's no need to point. Well, and <laughs> She knows who Ross is. And then the foreign exchange student, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right oh man yeah yeah Boy, so these are some good episodes this was a fun yeah. list to do yeah it was i i really enjoyed this list i enjoyed watching these thanksgiving episodes yeah i went back and watched a few of them i couldn't of course access all of them but um so here, let me see here One, two, I, wa- I watched eight of them. Um, wow. The only one I didn't watch was my friend's episode where the one where Ross got high uh-huh. and the Big Bang Theory because I knew those well enough. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I rewatched all eight of the other ones. The best part of the thing about Ross, the one where Ross got high is how it turns out that Chandler is the good guy. Then by the end, in the eyes of his parents, Ross's parents. <laughs> is it snowing outside? <laughs> I have a dandruff problem. A dandruff problem. <laughs> I'll look after him, or I'll keep an eye on him. At the end, when he's talking about Ross's yeah. drug problem, yeah, he's been he's been with you through thick and thin, through the divorces, <laughs> through the drug years. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that show. So, so that is our top ten list for Thanksgiving. I enjoyed that. I did too. I, out of all the lists, this might have been my. I'm going to probably say this every episode. <laughs> you you say it every, every It list. might be my favorite one because yeah. I literally love, I literally, I did it. That's I okay. enjoy all these episodes very much, except for my number 10, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And I enjoyed that, honestly. I yeah. just don't like the show. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of like uh, uh, Boy Meets World and uh, Malcolm in the Middle and stuff like that. I think they had some too, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Boy Meets World. Yeah, and, but I don't remember those episodes, and I right. did not go back to watch those ones. Right. So I would probably like. I, I know. I know they brought the two families together, uh, Sean's family, and and I never watched it. So oh, that's a it's a good show. Yeah. It's. I imagine in a couple of years, my boys will really enjoy it. Right. Nice. So coming up, we've got uh, like next week. We're actually going to try again to get to our 
Um, catchphrases? Catchphrases. Unless we end up with a guest before then. And then the following week, um, I believe, if I've got that right, or the week after, we're going to be doing a live show December 6th. Ooh. It's going to be a Tuesday. What? Um, <laughs> yes. That's so I, I told my wife that we we're going to do a live show. She's like, oh, are you nervous? I was like, well, it's not like we edit the shows we record. <laughs> right. No, it's no different. No different. And we're going to have some guests. We're going to have uh, as many of the guests on that we've had so far who can make it. Uh, right now, it's looking like most of them will be here. Uh, hopefully, everybody's kind of responded. So no one's going to uh, watch, but things may change before then. Um, so, yeah, but we'll give you guys more information on that as we get closer. It's going to be kind of be a pre-Christmas uh, episode, so a little bit early, but yeah, things get busy the closer you get to Christmas. You, you said something wanna... about making merchandise. What's that? You said something about making merchandise for this show. I'm oh, just, merchandise! I'm just, yeah, I'm just, right. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, first I'm going to do up a website, and yeah, 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 merch. We're going to be selling merch. MLV, baby. That's right, MLV. Trademark. It's probably already trademarked somewhere. Yeah, by that comedian. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. My mom watched him for like six episodes and was like, that's not you. Yeah. No. <laughs> my my mom turned me off and went and watched him. <laughs> oh, mom. yeah. <laughs> my mom's hot. Uh, other than that, coming up. We've got next week, or this coming, uh, before this airs, actually. Never mind. This will uh, have, all, the LNC show will have already happened before this airs. So, um, Oh, is, uh, that, can, is that? I, the interview with PKJ was fantastic. Yeah, good stuff. Fantastic. Loved it. Excellent job, Chris and David. Uh, probably not David, because Chris doesn't keep him around for interviews. So, it's like mm -hmm. when the family comes over and you make the the one kid stay in his room the whole time because you're embarrassed that he's just kidding, David. Not that I you'll mean, ever I make both my kids stay in the room. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. Um, but yeah, dang it. I wish, I wish, well, we kind of promoted it last week a little bit. So looking forward to that. That was a great show. Fantastic show. If you haven't, if you didn't see it live, uh, go watch it. He's got it on his Lost in Comics channel. We don't know Interview when it's happening. Philip Kennedy Johnson talking about Superman and also who just announced doing the Green Lantern book. Uh, Gathering of the Geeks should be back this coming weekend. I don't think so. I think it's the following weekend. So they're off for three weeks? Well, they were off last Sunday. Uh -huh. They were. Didn't they do a show the Sunday before? Yes. So, so they'll be off this Sunday. But by the time this airs, will be the next time for the next Sunday. Oh, man. This is why I like time travel. Right. Uh, also, Happy Thanksgiving. Tomorrow. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, for sure. Uh, whoever you're spending with, and um, to our Canadian viewers, uh, how we said hi. Yeah, just see what they yeah. say. Go with it. That's right. Yeah, I, I think you guys had yours uh, when we had our Columbus Day, so um, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody enjoys time with their family. Uh, if you're traveling, stay I safe. don't recommend going to Buffalo. Stay safe. Definitely stay safe. Enjoy yourselves. Um, avoid conversations that are going to ruin the holiday for your family. And or join us. TV shows. Spoilers. Yeah. That's right. Spoiler. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Don't do it. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. And we will see you guys next time if you have nothing more to say jim no nope, just stay jim safe nothing more to enjoy say. the holidays enjoy the holidays happy thanksgiving talk to you guys later take care